Hi, this is Norma. I'm going to show you quickly how to set up your autoresponder sequence in Git Response. Uh, the first thing we need to do is, uh, when we're logged in, is go to My Account and click on My Emails. Okay, so what we're doing here, um, we are uh, choosing to add the name of our spokesperson, which is the name our emails will come from. And in this case, our sender is called Sue Hendricks. So let's add Sue's name in here. And then you would add your email address that this is coming from. I wouldn't use a Gmail. Uh, if possible, use a domain. Uh, set that up, Sue from bestweightloss.com or whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to put... Um, We'll just enter that, sue at best, oops, I can't type, okay, so add my email address. And then you're going to have to verify it, okay? I'm not going to do that step right now, but just know before you can actually send these emails, that you're going to have to verify that email address. Okay, so next thing, we're going to go back to our dashboard. It ever gets there. It's running really slow for some reason. There we go. Okay, so now we have our email address of our spokesperson set up. And the next thing we're going to do, uh, we have to make sure we're setting this up with the right campaign. So you're going to see a little tab here, your current campaign, and there's a drop down arrow. So you can use any of these other domains or create a new one. So just click on create campaign and set up your details there. I've just set up one as demo 2013, so we're just going to leave it as that. The next step is to go up to Messages, and we're going to choose Create Autoresponder. Okay, so you for GetResponse has a few different options. Um, Time-based is the most common option that a lot of people use, or you can send your uh, subscribers to different emails depending on what they've clicked on or what they've opened. But we're just going to, for because this is the simplest way, let's use a time-based one, okay? So we're going to start on day zero, which means they are going to receive this email the same day that they subscribed, okay? So there is a few different options. You can send the option immediately, send it with a bit of a delay, or no earlier than. I'm just going to leave it as send immediately. Now, you will want to create a new email, and it's going to ask us the autoresponder name. Um, you can choose day one, or you can use the subject line. That's entirely up to you. I'm just going to put in day one here. Okay, so we're going to save that. Okay, so then we're going to create a new email. So, message name. Your subscribers won't see this. This is just for your own reference, okay? So I'm just going to put in email one. Subject line. Okay, I have an email that's pre-written here, so let me just grab the subject line from that. Paste that in. Now, in this from field, make sure that you choose the email of your spokesperson, not your own, if that's the one you're using. You can choose to set up Google Analytics in this, probably not a bad idea, but I'm not going to do it for this email. Um, trick, or sorry, track the click-through rate is always a good idea, so we can go ahead and do that. So let's save that. Okay, I'll save, so let's go on to our next step. Now, GetResponse has a whole bunch of templates with really fancy whistles and bells, and a lot of these are for corporations using it. Um, they do have some internet marketing ones, but I can't really say that I love any of them. I usually start from scratch. 
Now as you can see, there's all kinds of different layouts you can use. I like to use the one that has the mobile option. I just feel that more people get my emails that way. So let's use that one. Okay, now in Git Response, you can choose to add an image. That's a nice idea uh, for your spokesperson to have a nice picture of them so people can relate to them. So if we choose, we can find a picture of them or upload one. And I believe there's a people option here. Is there not? Maybe not. Okay, let's just... Because uh, Sue is a nurse, so let's use this image. This is Sue. Okay. Now, this is a headline. You can choose to use it or not. That's entirely up to you. I'm not going to use it. And it always puts this divider in here, which I don't really care for. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of this. And this is a call to action. Um, again, you can choose to use this or not. I don't particularly like it for most of my emails, so I'm going to get rid of that too. So now I am just going to delete the existing text in here, and I'm going to copy and paste in my pre-written email. All right, so I'm going to paste that in. Okay. Now you can choose uh, if you like a different font than Arial. I like Arial personally, um, but I like it a little bit bigger than 14. I like it usually 16 pixels. It's a little bit bigger. And one thing we need to do is change our links here to our affiliate links. Another little trick I like to do when I'm making links to something Oops, I just realized I made a little mistake here when I went to change this font size. Okay, we need to select all, so of course, control A. So let's up that to 16, so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's go down and find where we have a link. Where are you? There we go. So of course, you're not going to want this link in, so take that out, take that out as well, and then actually make your link. So all we need to do is highlight it, and then you're going to see a little icon here with a link. So let's add that in. So let's do, we'll just put in fatlossfactor.com, and of course change this to your own affiliate link. Another little trick I like to do when I make a link is make it a little bit bigger than the other text. I usually make it 18. Oops, now it's 19. Sometimes I even like to change the color to red. You can play with this, but sometimes it works. Just draw a little bit more attention. Okay, so we have our email all loaded and ready to go. So the next thing we should do is test the message. And what this does, this will send an email to your own email address so you can check and make sure it looks the way it is. Make sure that your links are working, which is very important. You want your affiliate links to work or otherwise you're not going to get credit for the sale. So we're going to send a test message. Okay, so it's sent, so then you can go in and look at your the email and make sure it, everything's the way you would like. Uh, Get Response also has something called Inbox Preview. It will show how your email looks with different mobile devices, different browsers, etc. It takes quite a while for these to load, so I'm not going to wait for all of these. But anyway, just know that you have that option to check and make sure everything looks Good. Um, you may not be able to, these all won't probably be perfect, but if for the most part they look good, then I would go ahead and send it.
Okay, and you can also do a spam score, which is a good idea as well. Okay, so this one looks good. Your email will probably not be recognized with spam, which is what we want. Okay, our next step, we can either save it as a draft or a template. I'm going to save this as a draft. If we saved it as a template, it would always have the same image and, and setup. So we saved it as a draft. And then we're going to go to our next step. And it just takes a minute to load it up. There it is. So once you're happy, you can check it again and, and do any editing you need. And then if you're happy with it, save it. Okay, so then all we need to do is add the rest. You can decide if you want to send them the next day or skip a day in between. You just click the appropriate little tab here. So if you wanted to send them every day, you just on the next uh, sequence or sorry, next email in the sequence, you would just choose one. And there we go. Just go through the same process of creating the email, um, pasting it in, uh, pasting in your appropriate links and you're good to go. I think that should uh, have you set up pretty well with GetResponse.